Hey everyone, glad to be here with a video review of the Left 4 Dead Boomer. NECA's first ever Left 4 Dead figure has been released and he looks really disgusting, so let's check him out. The front of the package showcases the Boomer separated in half. The back of the package features some artwork and information about the Boomer. So let's get him out of the package. So out of the package, you can see that this is a really nasty figure covered in blood and boils. In the zombie universe, this is an infected person who transforms into a giant bloated zombie and throws a bile that attracts other zombies. He has an amazing paint job, you can really see the dirtiness of his clothes, the blood stains on his t-shirt and overall he just looks really grimy and nasty. The detail is amazing and is extremely accurate to the game. The boils on his body, the texture on his flesh and even his face is sculpted beautifully. It looks great with these boils coming out looking putrid and vile. Here we have a close up of his face, you can really see how ugly he is. And we have a shot of him with his mouth open ready for some vomit action. Here are some close ups of that great sculpting. The boils all over his body look really disgusting. As for articulation, he has a ball jointed neck. You can slightly tilt it up and down and left and right. He has a hinged jaw that lets him open and close his mouth. There are ball jointed shoulders on each side. But in his shoulder here, it hinders some of the movement. Here are his ball hinged elbows. The ball joints on his wrist are kind of restricted because of the boils right here. His upper torso is ball jointed. You can swivel his waist. Ball jointed hips. He has ball hinged knees. And finally ball jointed ankles. Earlier I mentioned on why they call him the Boomer. In the game Left 4 Dead when you kill him, his top half explodes and all that's left is his bottom half. NECA has included this feature into the figure as well. His upper body is easily removed and his guts float right on top because of that giant peg. It fits very well and won't come off on its own. The guts rotate around but that's pretty much it. I noticed that you can't really cover the entire bottom half perfectly but it's still a great feature. You can see the detail of the guts, blood, and there's even some greenish gray bile there that the boomer throws up. As for size comparison, I have him next to a G.I. Joe zombie viper, a walking dead zombie, and a 6 inch war machine. As you can see the boomer is a big figure and he stands 7 inches tall. Overall, if you're a fan of Left 4 Dead, zombies, or just want a really unique figure for your collection, I recommend you buy this figure. He's out in stores now, so happy hunting. Thanks for watching.